Welcome to linuxhelp.com. In this session, you are going to see about how to install Bugzilla in CentOS 6. Bugzilla is a free and open source software which is used for web based bug tracking tool used to log and track defected database. Bugzilla is very adaptive to various situations. They are used nowadays in different IT support queries, system administration, deployment management, chip design, and development problem tracking both pre and post fabrication and software and hardware bug tracking for luminous such as red hat nasa etc for installing bugzilla first you need to install the dependency packages for that command is m install httpd mod underscore ssl mysql hyphen server mysql php hyphen mysql gcc perl mod underscore perl hyphen dvl and press enter the dependency packages that are need for installing bugzilla has been get installed in my system successfully now i'm going to open the port number 80 in the firewall for that command ip tables hyphen i input hyphen p tcp hyphen hyphen d port 80 hyphen j accept and press enter now the ip tables has been get added and it has opened the port number 80 in the firewall now i want to save the ip tables firewall for that command service ip tables save now the ip tables tools has been get saved now for making the apache service restart every time when you restart the machine for that slash sbin slash chk con httpd on and press enter now it has been get on now for mysql server chk config mysklt on now the service has been get on now start the mysql service for that service mysklt start now the mysql d service has been get started now do the secure installation for that mysql underscore secure underscore installation and press enter and enter here enter and type the password for the root now the secure installation has been get completed now create a database for the bugzilla for that mysql hyphen u root hyphen p and press enter type the password for creating database create database bugzilla db colon now the database has been get created now create a new user the name of user1 and grant the permission for the user to access the database bugzilla for that command grant all on the name of the database bugzilla db dot star to the name of the user at localhost identified by on the password for that user and press enter now the user has been get created and he has the full privilege to access the database now give exit for downloading the bugzilla follow the below command duplicate space the following link and press enter now the package has been get downloaded now for extracting the package tar space zxvf space the name of the package and press enter now the package has been get extracted now move this package to the web root directory for that command mv space the name of the folders space where ww html and press enter now it has been get moved now move to the web root directory cd where ww html inside the directory you can able to see the file now i'm going to rename the file as filezilla for that mv space bugzilla space the new name of the file bugzilla and press enter now it has been get renamed now move inside the bugzilla directory for that cd bugzilla 
and press enter now for doing the configuration dot slash check setup dot pl hyphen hyphen check hyphen modules and press enter this command is used for checking the modules of the bugzilla and press enter here you can able to see there is an error record for clearing that error pull space install hyphen module dot pl space hyphen hyphen all and press enter the installation of the modules has been get completed now again execute the command check setup for that dot slash check setup and press enter but again it will be showing you some error the database name and the host name has to be correct in the local config so now edit the local config nano local conf inside that file you may you have to check database name bugzilla db and the database username as user1 and the database password you have to set after that you have to save the file now again execute the script dot slash check setup and press enter now you have to type the email address of the administrator and press enter type the name for the administrator now password for the administrator and press enter now the checking process has been get completed now you need to make the apache configuration for that open the file nano etc httpd conf httpd.conf and press enter inside that file move to the bottom of the file now add the following codes inside the file after that save the file now restart the apache service for that service httpd restart and press enter now the service has been get restarted for accessing the bugzilla open the web browser on the type the ip address slash bugzilla and press enter here you can able to see the main page of the bugzilla for login click login and type the email address and type the password here and click login now it has been get successfully logged in thank you for watching